What's up everybody, welcome back. So here I am once again with another movie haul. And it's been about, what, two months I think since I uploaded a new movie haul video. So this is everything um, for the past two months or since I posted that, that uh, last video. So there's a lot. So I'm gonna break this into two parts just that way. It's not a super long video. And plus I can make sure that you know, it all gets recorded and there's no issue with storage on my phone and all that good stuff. So, I'm gonna break that into two parts. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, Dollar Tree is gonna be my first stop. Now, this is from the last drop that they had at the Dollar Tree. They recently just started dropping a new one or a new batch, I guess. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree that's nearest to me today to see if they had anything that, you know, was worth getting or anything maybe from the last batch that I wanted that I couldn't find previously. And there was really nothing. There was a lot. Of, there was a lot. There just wasn't anything that really tickled my fancy. Um, a lot of uh, random horror movies, um, but probably all stuff that you can find on Tubi for free. Um, so didn't pick anything up th this time, or at least not yet, but last time I grabbed a couple. Uh, I wanted to pick up a lot more, but I didn't, uh, I refrained myself because the couple of other ones that I saw that I, um, or that I found that I hadn't seen yet were on streaming services that I had subscriptions to or were free on Tubi. So I didn't pick those up, but I did grab two. The first one is You Might Be a Killer. I saw uh, a couple people pick this up in the last drop and it looked interesting. I like the two actors in it. Uh, Allison Hannigan and Fran Kranz. Could be Cranes, I'm not sure, but from uh, you know Cabin in the Woods fame. Allison Hannigan from How I Met Your Mother, uh, An American Pie. But this just seemed interesting. It look, I like the two actors, like I said, and it just sounded interesting. This one here is a 2018. Uh, it's rated TVMA, so maybe it was a, uh, I don't know, maybe a straight to like a, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But it, it said it's rated TVMA, one hour and 32 minutes, so pretty typical an hour and a half. But this just, this, I, I liked the sound of this. It was right up my alley. It says, You Might Be the Killer is the story of Sam, played by Fran Kranz, a regular guy who finds himself on the run from a masked serial killer that has been brutally murdering his fellow camp counselors. Sounds familiar, huh? Uh, desperate, Sam reaches out to his friend Chuck, played by Allison Hannigan who is an expert in all things horror. She becomes Sam's lifeline as he tries to evade death by avoiding common horror tropes and save his friends. But when Chuck challenges Sam with the notion that Sam himself might be the killer, Sam must race, race to uncover the haunting truth of the masked maniac's identity and the masked supernatural powers all before it's too late. So yeah, sounds like an interesting movie. And again, the... Uh, the two main uh, actors I like so I figured why not for a buck I would check it out and it wasn't on any streaming services that I have subscription to or it wasn't on Tubi so I went ahead and grabbed it the other one is George A. Romero's Survival of the Dead I think I've seen this movie before, at least once before. Uh, I don't really remember it. Um, there's some of the later George A. Romero zombie movies that I watched that I wasn't fans of, like uh, Diary of the Dead, uh, and then whatever the one after that was. I think there was another like found footage, or you know, it was supposed to be kind of direct sequel to Diary of the Dead. I wasn't a fan of those. I really wasn't a big fan of Land of the Dead either. Um, but in retrospect, I can appreciate kind of what Romero was going for and everything. So, you know. But um, I went ahead and picked this up because it's only a buck. It's a Blu-ray. Um, I figured, you know, 
I, I believe that it's streaming on Tubi. So if you want to watch it on there, you can. Um, and I kind of wanted to see it again just to see what I thought of it. Because it wasn't one that I was blatantly like, oh, you know, I didn't like that movie or I hated that movie. So I figured I'd pick it up and give it a shot. It is a, it is a magnet release. Um, this one is a 2009 rated R and an hour and a half. In this one, it says, On a small island off the coast of Delaware live two families locked in a struggle of power and control over the fate of the undead. The O'Flins approach the zombie plague with a shoot-to-kill attitude. The Muldoons feel that the zombies should be quarantined and kept, up, quote, alive, end quote, in hopes that a solution will be discovered. For both families, existence on Plum Island is a nightmarish world where humans are the minority and zombies rule. Sounds interesting, and I just now remembered I already am already messing this up for uh, you might be the killer. That is the the disc art. At least it's not plain. It's nothing special, but at least it's not just you know the title of the movie. And then for survival, cool. We basically just have the cover on the disc. So if you never watched any of my videos before, um, welcome, and. Uh, you may not know this because it's your first video. I don't keep cases. I take, I just, I keep the discs. So it's always cool for me when the disc has, you know, at least the cover art on it. So that's always cool. That's always fun. I don't know why I'm doing a lot with my hands today. Anyway, that is it for the Dollar Tree. Next up, we have Goodwill. Uh, in one of my previous videos, uh, pretty recent videos i said that i was not going to be uh, buying movies at goodwill anymore because unfortunately the goodwill stores of georgia do not accept returns on any electronics even if they don't work um you know which sucks because there's no way of testing out a movie before you buy it like you can plug in a tv or something like that you can't really do that with a DVD unless you have like a portable disc player or something like that. So, um, said I was going to stop buying a Goodwill, but, um, I was about 30 minutes from home the other day. There was a Goodwill there. I just, I had some time and decided to stop just to see if there was anything, you know, that I really needed for the collection. And I found a couple things. So, First off, we have Keanu Reeves and Gene Hackman in The Replacements. I really, really, really like this movie. I've watched it a bunch of times. It's one of those, it's just, it's a fun movie to, what did my voice do there? It's a fun movie uh, to, to pop on. It used to be on TBS a lot. That's how I watched it so many times. Um, 2000. PG-13, almost two hours long, one hour and 58 minutes. I'm a big fan of Keanu Reeves. If Again, if you're new to the channel and you don't know, I'm a huge fan of Keanu Reeves, so it's another one to add to that. It's got a great cast, a lot of really memorable characters in here. John Favreau is in this uh, back when he was still an actor. Now he's pretty much known for directing with... Uh, the MCU uh, and The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. It's got Orlando Jones from uh, Mad TV fame. It's got, um, I don't know this guy's name, but I will pull up this guy right here. I don't know. I hope you can see that okay. That guy is in it course from little nicky from uh the harry potter uh, series of movies he is really really good in this he's he's one of the mo more memorable i i feel like uh in this movie but yeah it's just it's a good movie it's a feel good kind of movie and again one of those that you can just pop on at any time and uh i really enjoy it as i said seen it a lot um, if you don't know anything about it, it says underdogs become top dogs in this fun-filled, rough and tumble comedy. Um, let's skip all the you know, mumbo-jumbo stuff. Let's see what it says. 
Keanu Reeves plays Shane Falco, a washed-out All-American quarterback who guides a team of misfits assembled by the veteran coach, Jamie McGinty, played by Gene Hackman, to replace a st a striking pro players. A motor mouth receiver, Orlando Jones, a merciless linebacker, John Favreau, a nicotine wired kicker, which is the guy that I uh, just showed, and more line up alongside Falco for a drive to the playoffs. Uh, for sultry support, there's a cheerleader an ex uh, and her ex stripper squad. It said, Pain heals, chicks dig scars, glory lasts forever. forever. Falco tells his team it's a game plan that works to perfection. So, yeah. This is a good one. I am not a big sports person at all, but there are a couple of sports movies for some reason that just stand out, and this is one of them for me. This is just a great comedy, feel-good type movie. Really enjoy this, and it doesn't help this guy Keanu Reeves, so probably the main reason I ever decided, you know, to give it a watch in the first place was because Keanu Reeves, so, you know. All right, and the second pick, there's only two at the Goodwill, and the second pickup is George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. Now, I know this one here is, uh, you can pretty, you can watch it for free, uh, on YouTube or any, anywhere. It's, uh, it's free to watch, uh, but I, you know, I saw it, it wasn't added to the collection just to have it, you know, in a physical format for a while, and I found it, so I just, I'd actually found two copies, which was, you know, surprising. Uh, funnest thing about this is there is, there was a coupon in this one for Suncoast and Media Play, one dollar off any, what is it? Mat, Mattacy, Mattacy DVD multi pack. I used to go to Media Play back in the day a lot. I loved Media Play, um, and that was really back before the internet was, you, you could basically get anything on the internet. That was the place that you could go physically and find a lot of movies that you didn't find in other places like Target and Walmart. Um, back when I was really into professional wrestling, they had a lot of dvds there that i never saw anywhere else like it was it was a fun place plus they had a lot of collectibles and stuff again that you didn't see in regular stores so i used to go to media play a lot so that's pretty cool to find that but yeah that's the disc it's you know plain whatever um 1968 and it's the you know the one that started it all this is the granddaddy of the zombie genre really is night of the living dead again and i'm not going to go into the synopsis and all that stuff because i'm pretty sure everybody really knows night of the living dead by now so but cool to be able to have that physical that you know physical copy of that down next up uh the other day i um had a doctor's appointment and on the way over to my doctor's appointment, there is a family dollar that I stop at from time to time because they do have DVDs, both new and used over there. Uh, I stop there usually when I'm going to the doctor and uh, just to see what they have. And stopped in the other day, uh, or, you know, I, don't, I say the other day, this could have been a month ago, to see what they had. And they didn't have anything it, it was about to be a wasted trip and i turned out looking at the the used dvds and then i turned around there was a rack of new ones there and right in front of my face this is one that was in the um one of the dollar tree drops that i never found i never came across it unfortunately but now i own it and that is one of my favorite horror movies, definitely one of my favorite zombie movies, Night, or excuse me, Return, <laughs> I'm still in love, The Return of the Living Dead. I love this movie so much, and I love this Tar, tar Man, I absolutely love Tar Man. So that's cool. Yeah, it's just like a little insert. It was, you know, for the re-release. But this cover's also pretty awesome as well. 
Yes. I will be keeping this case. <laughs> I do keep some um, that I really like the art on, and this is definitely one of them, because again, this is one of my favorite movies. And if I don't keep the case, then my girlfriend's probably going to want it regardless. She also loves this movie a lot. And that is the disc. And this is one of the re the releases that they had the, um, the little, basically, a coloring book in there. And then they, it was all a bunch of special releases of all these horror movies. And those. So I've had, I've got a couple of these. And again, I haven't kept the cases, but I've kept the little insert because most of the time that's the best part. This one I love the whole thing, so it's cool. And it's got it's basically like a little coloring book of all the colors that you can do. Got a bunch of those now. I absolutely love this movie. Oh, I just one of my favorites. 1985 rated R, an hour and a half. Uh, this is just a silly, fun zombie movie. Um, on the first day on the job in an army surplus store, poor Freddy unwittingly releases nerve gas from a secret U.S. military canister, unleashing an unbelievable terror. The gas re reanimates a, corp a core of corpses who arise from the graves on a rat and excuse me with with a ravenous hunger for human brains. And luckily for those car carnivorous cadavers, there is a group of partying teens nearby just waiting to be eaten. Love this movie so much. I keep saying that, but I do. I really, really do. I love it so much. So so good. If you haven't checked this out, if you like more campy horror, that's that's one for you right there. So really glad to have picked that up. I six six bucks, unfortunately. I had you know, wish I would have found it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but you know, at least I have it now, and I jumped on it uh, for six bucks. Because I have been watching it on Amazon for a while, and Amazon it's going for at least 10 or or something like that so I, I still got a deal all right moving on these are from amazon first one up is a trilogy robocop i finally was able to pick this up for 15 dollars on amazon super super happy to finally have this love the first one the second one is pretty good too the third one, meh, but um, absolutely. And on Blu-ray for 15 bucks, we got RoboCop 1987, RoboCop 2, 1990, and RoboCop 3 from 1993. They're almost, uh, let's see, RoboCop is rated R an hour and 42 minutes. RoboCop 2 is rated R an hour and 57 minutes. And RoboCop 3, PG-13 at 1 hour and 44 minutes. Have not cracked this baby open. Yeah, these all have just been sitting over here. Um, just, you know, waiting for me to do a haul video. Alright, we, I mean, pretty plain discs. But, um, you know, not bad. Could be worse. I also kind of like when they do the big, you know, the blue bar, the blue banner and with the Blu-ray logo so that you know for a fact that they're they're blue. If you have yours mixed all together like me and you have DVDs and Blu-ray, it's pretty nice. It's a nice little set. Uh, neatly remastered. Uh, includes two hours of bonus material. Material. It's got Q&A with the filmmakers. It's got Flesh and Steel, the making of Robocop. RoboCop creating a legend. Uh, the 1987 featurette shooting RoboCop and making RoboCop. Uh, storyboard with commentary by the animator. Deleted scenes. Villains of old Detroit. Special effects then and now. And it's got commentary with the director, the writer, and executive producer. Pretty nice 
can't wait to I actually just recently wa rewatched Ro the first Robocop uh on Amazon. I think it was Amazon Prime. Uh my girlfriend and I rewatched it. I mean it's been a couple months now, but it's still so so damn good. And uh I know that I have seen all of them at one point or another. Um but it it'll be nice to go back and rewatch all of them, you know, two and three. Like I said, three is just not not that great, but oh well. Moving on from Amazon, because this movie, this, uh, this movie, <laughs> this movie, this video is getting a little long, but next up from Amazon, 1993, Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes, Demolition Man. I love this movie so much. It's another one I rewatched a lot growing up. 1993, as I said, rated R, almost two hours. This this movie is so good. This is like the epitome of a 90s action movie. Ah, oh, the disc is leaves some to be desired. I was able to pick this up on Amazon for six bucks. I actually grabbed one for me, one for my girlfriend. She loves this movie as well. At six bucks, you cannot beat it. And yes, it's a 90s movie, but you know, it's on Blu-ray too. Like could not pass it up on this Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes go at it and amid a dazzling cyber future in this explosive hit in 2032 arch criminal Simon Phoenix played by Snipes awakens from a 30 year old deep freeze in a cryo prison to find a serene nonviolent Los Angeles ready for the taking and unable to deal with Phoenix's brutal 1990s style officials seek an old-fashioned cop to fight old-fashioned crime they revive Sergeant John Spartan, played by Stallone, unjust, unjustly serving a cryo prison sentence because, because of his last encounter with Phoenix. Sandra Bullock, Benjamin Bratt, and Dennis Leary also play rough and tough in this, quote, terrific mix of action and humor, end quote. Joel Siegel, Good Morning America. It also has uh, special features commentary by director and producer... And the theatrical trailer. It would be nice to have a little bit more special features. Especially considering I love this movie so much. But that's that's fine. I own the movie. That's what's most important to me. Last up from Amazon. This one, my girlfriend and I recently brought this up. Uh, we were just told we were talking. I think we were talking about like Christopher Lloyd or something like that. And we brought this movie. And uh, I, I own this as a kid. The old VHS and the clamshell. Um, I don't own it now. And I also wanted to rewatch it. So I ended up finding it on Amazon. I think for what was it? Uh, fumble with my paper here. For It was five bucks. So I figured why not. Pick this up so we can rewatch it. And so I can add it to the collection. And that is Walt Disney's. Angels in the Outfield. Oh, yeah. I love this movie. Or, I loved this movie. I, again, I haven't seen it in a lot of a long years. But, Danny Glover, Tony Danza, Christopher Lloyd. We got a very, very, very young Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Probably can't see that. Oh, man. This one's a good... This This one brings back some memories to me. Danny Glover plays George Knox, the frustrated coach of the California Angels, a ragtag team of major league misfits who are down on their luck. But things begin to look up when their 11-year-old Roger, when 11-year-old Roger, their biggest fan, starts giving Knox some winning tips from a real live angel named Al, played by Christopher Lloyd. The team miraculously climbs back into the pennant, pennant race, all while learning to believe in themselves. This is a heavenly mix of outrageous comedy, dazzling special effects, and amazing baseball action. Um, I don't know about the dazzling special effects. Again, I mean, it may it may have aged okay because it's Disney. Who knows? Looking forward to giving this one a rewatch because, again, I really do enjoy this. Um, oh, 1994 uh, PG, 1 hour and 42 minutes for Angels in the Outfield. 
and I always, always really, really liked that cover because that is actually the same cover that was on the VHS. <laughs> All right, let me get a little drink of water before I continue on. Normally, I would edit, I would edit that out, but whatever. Next up, we've got Walmart. Haven't been going to Walmart too much lately. One of these I picked up myself. The other one, my girlfriend bought for me. First one I bought because it was just a good deal and I wanted to rewatch it before the new one came out. I didn't get around to it. So I'll probably rewatch it after I watch the new one. Anyway, but this one is from 2018 PG-13, one hour and 30 minutes. It is a quiet place. Uh, I was able to find this for, I think it was a seven or eight bucks at Walmart. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, I, I really enjoyed this movie. I'm, I'm really, I'm looking for, oh, didn't, oh yeah, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital, then digital. Okay, cool. Um, I really enjoyed this one. It's not one of my favorites, but I did enjoy it, especially enough to buy it, you know, for, under 10 bucks uh and again i wanted to rewatch it before the new one the discs again uh i'm so tired of this i'm tired of this pl these plain discs come on special features this is creating the quiet uh director john krasinski gives you the behind the scenes look the Sound of Darkness, creating the sound of a silent world, and A Reason of Silence, the art of unforgettable visual effects. But yeah, I got the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital on this one. I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, like I said, um, you know, was it perfect? No. Um, as far as the sequel goes, when they first announced the sequel, I was just kind of like, why? Why are they making a sequel? I've heard a couple of people give uh, their review of it, or you know, at least say what they thought of it. It's getting good feedback, um, so I'm looking forward to watching it. Especially like, luckily, I have Paramount Plus right now. I have a trial of Paramount Plus because it recently was only 99 cents for the first month through Amazon Prime. So I grabbed that, and uh, part two is on there exclusively right now so i don't have to go to the theater to see it which is great so my girlfriend and i are probably going to watch that in the next couple of days before my trial runs out all right and the other one from or excuse me and then this one from walmart actually i have two from walmart here's the other one that i picked up i picked this up a while ago so i forgot about it but uh I think this one was like the, what, 374 I think this was in the 374 bin, or maybe $5. I can't really remember. I want to say it was 374 but it is a Cameron Diaz triple pack, or whatever you want to call it, triple feature. Not a big fan of Cameron Diaz, but I bought it specifically for this movie right here because I really like The Sweetest Thing. Uh, Bad Teacher, I bought recently uh at dollar tree on blu-ray so you know i like that one too though never seen sex tape but i guess i will now i really like jason siegel so i'm surprised i haven't watched it i guess i just haven't gotten around to it yet this right here yeah it because of the price i picked this up and uh i do like i wish they would have all been on their own but uh on discs that would have been nice uh bad teacher i recently bought i recently did a video on so it uh but sex tape here it's like it says uh let's see jason seal and cameron diaz and are a married couple still very much in love but 10 years and two kids have cooled the passion to get it back they decide to make a video of themselves trying out every position in the joy of sex in one three-hour marathon session it seems like a great idea until they discover that their most private video has gone public. In a panic, they begin a wild night of adventure, tracking down leads, roping in friends, and duping Annie's boss, all to reclaim their video, their reputation, their sanity, 
and most importantly, their marriage. And that one there is, uh, what is that one? Two, uh, 2014, rated R, an hour and a half. Uh, the Sweetest Thing, it, uh, let's see, Christina Walters, played by Cameron Diaz and her party hopping pals, uh, played by Christina Applegate and Selma Blair, are three sexy singles who love the nightlife. At the city's most exclusive dance club, Christina unexpectedly meets, unexpectedly, unexpectedly meets Peter, played by Thomas Jane, her perfect match. Discovering the next morning that he's left town, she and Courtney set out on a wild road trip to find him, but the road to Mr. Wright is paid with seductive surprises and hilarious misadventures. Like I said, I like, uh, I really do like that one a lot. I've, I've seen it quite a few times. It used to come on movie channels. Uh, growing up, we had the package that had like Showtime and HBO and stuff like that, and it would come on there a lot. So I would, you know, that's how I would watch it. All right. Oh, I got this one from Walmart too. Look, all right. <laughs> anyway, I'll show that. I'll show that one last. But this one my girlfriend got for me uh, at Walmart one day. She it was five bucks. Uh, she knew one of them that I didn't have that I really wanted. And she wasn't sure about the other, but for five, for five, she went ahead and picked them up for me because she's a sweetheart. And that is a double feature of. 2012 and Godzilla. This movie here, again, I have not, this is another one I haven't seen in a long time, so, you know, don't hold it against me. I really enjoyed it as a kid. 1998, PG-13, two hours and 19 minutes. It's got Matthew Broderick in it. I liked it at the time. I don't know how, I don't, I don't know. It may have aged poorly. I know a lot of people hate it, and that's fine. Um, 2012, the same. A lot of people hate it. I really enjoy it. I'm a little biased because I really like John Cusack, but I mean, it's, I think it's just a fun, one of those fun type disaster movies. The visual effects are really good. Um, so, I really like it. And, uh, it's nice to have both in Blu-ray, especially 2012 because of the special effects and everything. And I love these discs, especially the Godzilla. I, I, I love the Godzilla one. Uh, 2012 is uh, 2009 PG-13, two hours and 38 minutes. That's a long one. Whew. But yeah, let's see, uh, 2010. It says, from director of The Day After Tomorrow and Independence Day comes the ultimate action adventure movie. Uh, as the world faces a, ca a, a catastro ca catastro a catastrophe, a ca <laughs> catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions, cities collapse and continents crumble. 2012 brings an end to the world and tells of the heroic struggle of the survivors. Sorry, John Cusack, Amanda Peet. Danny Glover and Woody Harrelson and then Godzilla uh, as I said before 1998 doesn't really have a whole lot here it's just Godzilla's back and better than ever jaw-dropping scene after another the film never loses either momentum or its human scale doesn't really tell much but I mean it's Godzilla so Godzilla attacks uh, New York City in this one so like I said, I like it. I liked it as a kid. I don't know if it's still, if it holds up. We'll see. And the last one for this video from Walmart as well. Picked this up a while back. Got it for twenty five bucks. That's that's just how much it's going for. Um, and that is the complete series of that '70s show. One of my favorite TV shows of all time. This this show is so funny. At least, you know, the first few seasons are so good. Um, I've rewatched the first couple of seasons on Netflix a, a couple times. It's a, it's a good go-to type show. Uh, it's unfortunate that, you know, what's the um, allegations and, and stuff that 
have come out with some of the cast members in, in recent years. Uh, that's really unfortunate. It 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 hurts the show. It hurts the show, um, because I mean, there's there's a lot of people that just like I can't watch the show anymore because of of the things. But um, luckily, I'm one of those people that uh, that I can I can separate the actor, the real world actor, from the character, and not let it hurt severely hurt it let me just say that i mean it, it's still it crosses my mind every every now and then but i can kind of put it in the back the background and still enjoy the movie plus too you know you you, you don't want it to hurt the other people that are in this show that are so good topher grace at possibly his best ever uh you know it's just it's a great show uh, ran from 1998 to 2006, and uh, the last couple, I, I I fell off after a while. Like I I didn't end up watching the full series. I still have never watched the full thing. Um, I know I caught some of the later episodes after uh, Topher Grace left the show. So Eric Foreman wasn't there and it just, it wasn't the same, but that kind of happens with TV shows anyway. Uh, once they reach a certain time, you know, a certain like, uh, number of, of seasons, it is, it is, it isn't as good. That's just kind of the nature of it. Unfortunately, like the, the, um, the new wears off, I guess, or something or the, gl the glitter, uh, kind of fades a bit from it so but I'm really glad to have that uh, in my collection like I said one of my one of my favorite TV series for sure it's so funny so good the first couple seasons especially are some of the best so that's gonna do it for this part I still have a lot more to go um, most of the next ones are from the thrift store and uh, some movies that were given to me. So I'm going to hit those in the next part. So I hope you'll join me. And um, But that's going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you took the time, um, give, you know, subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to see more, hit the notification bell. I know that's a big thing on YouTube. Uh, and you know, drop in the comments what you thought of some of these or some, some of these movies and stuff. If, uh, what you think about them, if there's any that, uh, that you enjoy, have you, have you seen Return of the Living Dead? Have you not seen, are there some of, some of these that you haven't seen, um, that you may check out now that, uh, you know about them? I don't know. Any of that stuff, just, but that's going to be it for this video. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.